so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You look fabulous. Thank you. And you're on Fab TV, so it's oh, perfect. Well, it's right. perfect. <laughs> now, you are the star, the leading lady of Range Runner. Yes, I am. This thriller, Alone in the Woods. Yes. Tell me, what was the process like for you? What kind of training did you go through to be alone <laughs> in the woods? <laughs> well, so you thought. You know, I, uh, it actually, like, I actually was jumping right from a show into it, and the show was really, really physical. I did a show called The Doppelganger at Steppenwolf Theater Company. So I actually had one day between running from that show where I pretty much ran and did sword fighting for like two and a half hours on stage, <laughs> eight, eight, eight shows a week. And uh, so it kind of, that actually helped me lunge right into doing something where I'm running in the woods and fighting for my life in, in so many words. Um, but I, yeah, I mean, there really is no way to prepare in terms of like being in dirt, being amongst ticks and spiders and snakes and, and a lot of things, heights, things that I would yeah. never typically go around. So I kind of uh, just had a big mind over matter. We got to get this take. Let's do it. My character is not afraid of this stuff. So I'm going to just go past that fear and I just I just kept pressing on. You're like, if she's not afraid, I'm not afraid. Exactly. But then it was cut and I was like, oh my gosh, I feel so dirty. <laughs> and I understand that you actually have a track background. I do. Wow. Yeah. How did that prepare you to take yeah. on the role of Mal? Well, it, it was really interesting. Oh, they're screaming. Great. So anyway, um, and, and yeah, I ran ran track, uh, bas played basketball, volleyball, all that stuff. And actually, it's very interesting in the film. There, there's a very like tough love father that pushes, you know, his daughter in, you know, the and and running and being the best that she can be. And it's very, you know, kind of tough. And I actually had that experience. My father was very, very hard on me with sports and making sure that I was the best that I can be and all that stuff. So it was a very interesting parallel when I saw the audition side because I felt very connected to it automatically. Yeah, it's something to draw from. And I was like, oh, I get this. I get this. I can, yeah, let's do it. Let's do and it. We are at the Artemis Women in Action Film Festival. I mean, what does it feel like to have, you know, this character and you portray it here? It's something so empowering. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's such a blessing. I'm, I'm so grateful to God that even allow me to, to be a part of that film and just to be here amongst so many women that are just so freaking strong and beautiful and just amazing and it's just it's really really lovely to be amongst them I, I'm, I'm so honored yes, yeah love it and lastly what do you hope you know little girls and other women see when you know they see Mel yeah I so the, the tagline of this film is take back what's yours and I kind of take I take that to, to mean for me of like, don't let anyone steal your power. Know that you, you have a power, you are enough, you are in control of your life, and don't let anyone steal that from you. And so that's kind of what I would try to give, give out to other people, you know, to know that. Yeah. I love that. That is major key. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have to remind that. You have to remember that, you know what I mean? Just to, to keep going for anybody, any dreams, anything that you have that you really, really want in your life, you really have to press on and believe that you're enough and not let anyone take that from you. Beautiful. I yeah. love it. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us at Fab yes. TV. Congratulations thank on thank having the so film much. here. I Wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much.